Hi everyone. Hey, okay, so I thought it was going to be a lot closer than that. I wanted to go on Instagram too, but I don't have it quite set up for that. So today we're going to do uh, Facebook. I'm going to try to set it up for my Instagram and see if I can... No, it's not going to do that. We're going to do some live readings today and we're going to talk about freedom. Freedom. So I think this is a common ground that we all stand on right now. And that's lack of freedom. Okay. So I'm going to go live on... No, I don't want to do reels. I'm going to go live on Instagram. I'm going to try. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't want me to. And there we go. Live. Okay. So I'm going to go, we're going to go live on Instagram as well. And I'm going to do some, some free readings. Okay. So we're going to talk about freedom. Where has your freedom been taken away? And how do you lack freedom? Okay, so I'm going to pose this in a question. I don't think I'm meant to go on live Facebook. Cause, or Instagram, because it's not allowing me to. So we're going to try one more time. Hi, Amy. We're going to go live. There we go. Sorry, there was an error. So I guess I'm not supposed to go live on Instagram. So screw that. It's one of those days. <laughs> okay, so do you feel I don't have freedom to be on Instagram? Do you feel a lack of freedom in your life right now? Question mark. Yes or no? I'm putting up a, a poll right now. Or maybe and where is that where's that lack of freedom for you where's that coming for you freedom free dumb now I love to know the origin of words right and to me the origin of freedom is a kingdom in which we are free a kingdom in which we are free right so it is actually old English and it's derived from uh, liberty and free will, right? The Latin uh, origin is liberty, especially freedom, and the Greeks uh, indicated a condition of independence, unlike a slave. So living in a kingdom of freedom. Now, we have been indoctrined with a dogmatic temporary state of affairs that are very unprecedented, as they keep telling us, in this day and age. And I've got a client, I just spoke to a client this morning from Australia. And the first thing they're doing as soon as it opens up is they're hightailing it out of there. These are difficult times. And some of us, it's around our career. It's around our job. It's second guessing where our happiness lies. It's making us take a really close look at what is immediately around us, our friends, our coworkers, our job, our family, our husbands, our spouses, because we don't have the freedom to be distracted, right? The internet, Amazon, pharmaceuticals, they're making a ton of money off of us because now we only, we are in closed quarters within our own confines and we're now negotiating 
with our life is, do I need to take a closer look at my health? Do I need to take a closer look at my career that I haven't been happy with? Do I need to take a closer look at my relationship, which I've been a workaholic and distracted from taking a keen uh, inside look at what's going on with myself within relationship to my partner, to my parents, as, as a parent, my, as myself. And am I happy with this, right? So some of you may be disconnected or detached from that and not realizing that there's that deep layer to looking at life. And that's what I love about working with astrology. And that's what I was working with my client on this morning is his dream is to own his own business. And I want to, uh, we were laying out the plan according to what I see astrologically and clairvoyantly all of the specific dates moving forward in which not only the move will happen, but a business will follow as well, following a two year span of breadcrumbs is what I call it. Now, if you've got a question for me, I want you to put your birth date and your year, and if you have the time of birth, and if it's outside of you know North America, then the country as well, and we can take a look at what's going on with you around your freedom. How do you want to establish your free kingdom? How would you like your kingdom to be free? Free of what? Free of, I was working with a client yesterday and we were talking about looking at uh, their child who is creating quite a morning routine that incorporates a lot of stress because they, that child, wants the freedom to do things on their own time schedule, which is not the time schedule of the school or mom, mom's work, right? And mom wants the freedom to not have to go to bed every night knowing that in the next morning, she's going to wake up to this nasty, argumentative routine. And so implementing skill sets according to that child's personality is what's going to enable them to have a better morning routine, right? Freedom, freedom from stress for both of them, right? As a child, when I do readings for children, they are just exercising their right to be me. I'm free to be me and I'm exercising that right, right? I'm not a patient person. I'm not someone who wants to sit in the confines of structure, the school structure, my parents' structure. I'm autonomous and I don't obediently listen to those who are authoritarian over me. I am a freedom loving, uh, go at my own pace, beat up my own drum kind of little soul. And these children are very hard to discipline because they don't rise to any threat of disciplinary action. All it does is give them more of an opportunity to instill more freedom, which means saying no to the disciplinary, having the freedom to say no to the disciplinary action that's trying to get them to do what the, ch the parent wants them to do. Okay. Now, with that being said, uh, the other thing that we look at is the planet Uranus. Now, globally, the planet Uranus is in what's called uh, it's, it's around nine to 10 degrees of Taurus right now. And what this is doing is helping us take a look at our financial affairs on a global level. We want financial freedom and individuality and independence on a global level. So if you find yourself, which I experienced, um, with my hubby this morning, if you find yourself taking a look at where's my money, where's it going, how is it being spent, where is my money, where are my taxes going, who do I want to vote for because of my 
where I want our financial state to be in on a global level according to the country or the area or the province, etc., that you live in, right? And right now, it's in, I just want to confirm, I'm pretty sure it's in, yeah, it's in retrograde. And it's in retrograde until February. Okay, so in February, around let's see do we do well it's mid-january but it'll go back to its shadow uh in the end of february so we're going to expect quite a bit of intensity around finances with big corporations being accountable for that very sudden unexpected un very unprecedented but favorable okay now the one thing is that uranus is not comfortable in the sign of taurus taurus is earth uranus is air uranus wants freedom about what we are usually grounded with which is financial security financial security there's nothing in the words two words financial security that has the energy of freedom finances so for instance, like my client this morning I was talking to, wants to be self-employed, asked if she, he was going to be a millionaire or a billionaire. And my answer was, not unless you're going to change your approach to your work ethics, which is a very hardworking, autonomous, uh, grounded, solid person, which can turn into a workaholic when you make your own living. And because this type of personality doesn't, allow themselves the freedom to ask for help to ask others to take over this job or take over that job they want to do it all themselves and so then they will lack the freedom of happiness within their own personal life family and friends and outings and vacations because they will get trapped right into the slavery of the wage slave of the wage being very lost in just making and keeping and maintaining the almighty dollar there's no freedom there Security, yes. Money, yes. Freedom, no. <laughs> so this is what's going to come up for in February for us uh, as a nation uh, globally in every country is looking at where has our money been spent? What are you doing with this money financially? How are we benefiting from it as an individual? And standing up uh, outside of the crowd this is going to be very gutsy and courageous for a lot of people to do because this is not the norm and people want to they want to feel safe and secure with the old traditional way but the money system is going to start changing it's starting to change right now and you don't even know it right you're going to have less freedom with what you do with your money right and that's that's going to become news in january and february Right. So either I'm not um, I'm not seeing any questions popping up. I'm going to look at my other feed here or yeah, there's nobody really engaging today. So I'm going to end this now early. And uh, if you've got some questions because you're watching this later, you can uh, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer whatever I can. But what I would like you to answer is, where do you feel that your freedom is, take, you're taking the back seat to your freedom. You're not in the driver's, you're not in the driver's seat. Right? Where are you taking the back seat of your freedom? Is it in your marriage? Is it in your job? Is it with your parents? Is it in your relationship with a sibling, a neighbor? Is it your home? Is it your mortgage? Are you, are you financially enslaved, right? How is this affecting you? And then that's, that's the primary. And then the secondary behind that is what are your value systems and where are your value systems being taken away, right? How are your value systems being taken away? And then how can you, uh, evolve your value systems? so that you're 
you can work around these lack of freedom. Right? So I did get one birth date here and uh, all of the above. So let's look at November 5th. And she's nice and young. I'm going to kill this mosquito. A mosquito. We're like supposed to be in winter here. He wants to attack me. Taking my freedom away. From doing this broadcast. <laughs> so November. Five. And you're nice and young. And she's probably shaking her head. And she says all of the above. 9.25 a.m. So she says all of the above is affecting her. She feels lack of freedom everywhere. Now this is a, a Scorpio girl. So she's here to learn how to, yeah, I can see where that's happening. And you're going to be having this lack of freedom until around March of 2022. And you're very big on fairness and truth. And you like to dig deep into the truth, which you'll be doing a lot of in the summer of 2022, in order to feel that there is a lack of just uh, jurisdiction, justifying and fairness. And a lot of this is within let's take a look here you know you're you're ve you're very good at researching and you're someone that if you were to do a lot of researching i would trust your judgment on the research because you look at both sides you're not narrow minded where you just look at one side right and you you look for your truth to that one side i mean if i want to uh find out that peanut butter is healthy for me. I can find all kinds of reasons why peanut butter is really healthy for me because that's my, my mission is only to look for examples of healthy versions of peanut butter in my life. But if I want to look at that peanut butter is very unhealthy for me and I go down that road, I can find a billion reasons of why peanut butter isn't good for me. But you're the kind of person that looks at both sides and you can stand and you can present both sides equally with a depth of research and very and then you look at the next level which is the psychological level of why do I need to to know that peanut butter is bad for me why do I need to show people that peanut butter is good for me right why do I need to please people in this way and this is how you look at yourself as well but you've got a very unusual chart which has very little aspects to it and a lot of beneficial ones and right now, within the next eight months, and there are specific dates, March being one of them, uh, last, Mar last May being another one of them, is you're done with that, right? You're done with the unfairness and you're ready to make changes and you don't wanna deal with other people's or other situations on a deep psychological level. It's their problem, their monkeys, their circus. And so if you're looking for another job or another career, I see a completely different career. You're looking at beginning that in 2022 and that's June. So if you're in a career right now or you're in schooling right now, that I see more of a career, June will be a sudden severing of that. It will be uncomfortable, but it's necessary because this isn't what you're supposed to be doing what you're doing right now. You're going to be evolving uh, the uh, energetically the entire planet is evolving right now. It peaks in 2025. There's a ton of us that are going to be uh, shaken up to be long to the future of now, to be the change of the now, to be the adventures and the um, and the uh, progressive of the now, right? One thing about impermanent, the only thing permanent in life is impermanence. 
and we're shifting and we're changing and a lot of people are kicking and screaming through these shifts and changes and they got blinders on but you're not one of them so you're going to be part of that shift and that change so is it uncomfortable right now where we're being squeezed through this black hole of unknown yes are you going to be in a much better place yeah you were born to be in that place now when you speak your truth people don't like you people are uncomfortable with you right and that people pleasing side of you resists sharing what is your truth now this could be if in the workplace this could be with the educational system there's all kinds of areas in which this can happen in your life i'm seeing a lot of workplace educational system so i would love your feedback on that amy and uh no question in particular so we're focusing on freedom and so you want the freedom of sharing the injustice of the truth that's you Amy and that's what you're here to do that's your mission in this lifetime and we're gonna get feedback on that what happened Okay, so I just had a birth date here and it disappeared. So hopefully um, this is spot on, Holly. Okay, good. I'm gonna go to my other feed and see if I can see it there. No, one, two, three, four, it disappeared. Wow, I guess I'm not supposed to do this right now. So good, especially the monkeys in a circus. Yeah. Okay. So I did see that somebody had popped on and put their birth date and now they disappeared and so did the information that they put in there. So again, if you can add this later, I will do my best to answer later on. Probably this is not a great time, Sunday morning in a lot of different places. And we will uh, resume again. Hopefully uh, tomorrow, um, if not later today. We'll see. Yeah, I can see your comments, Amy. The other one disappeared. Okay, thank you everyone. Freedom. Namaste.